October the 28th, 2017. Because we've got a major chess game going on in D.C. And it really is a chess game that involves the entire planet. Let's go back to one day ago. Mueller was facing new Republican pressure to resign in the Russian probe. Why? We all know. They were throwing rocks at Trump about Russian collusion, and like I said before, it turned into a boomerang, and it came back. And the guys, the very things, think about this. They had to attack Trump. They're so stupid about Russia when that was what they were trying to cover up. Why would they not try to find some other angle, something he has no guilt in, but just to throw the doubt or the guilt into the Russian arena and into Trump's arena? Again, this happened Friday. What happened then, and this is perfect, Fox News under this heading showed a picture of Hillary Clinton. Now, who is calling the shots? First, it's Obama, then down to Hillary. And Hillary and Bill are screaming at Mueller to do something. And he says, well, I really don't have enough evidence yet. She, she's saying, you better throw something. I don't care if it sticks to the wall or not, because... They are, um, they've caught us, we're busted, you're being forced to resign. Look at the headlines. Throw something out there, okay? What happens? The chess game really gets revved up. Three hours ago, coming out of the House of Representatives, House Intelligence Committee strikes deal for access to Fusion GPS bank records. Who is Fusion GPS? Guys, that is the people that created the fake Russian Trump dossier the records that were initially paid for by hillary and the number one listen republican funder billionaire here in the united states we'll talk about that too but what happens right after hillary screams they're going to hang us all yesterday they rush Mueller in with an indictment that's sealed until monday that someone's going to get arrested they won't say whom and i want to say this to the people that are attempting to do this, I know you're in a panic mode and this is your last straw. The American people are awake, though. It's too late. Nothing's going to save you from what is going to happen. Go ahead and fess up. In other words, do what you tell. I'm talking to the FBI. Do what you tell every defendant in the case. Go ahead and tell us what you know. It's going to be a little easier on you, okay? Because you're guilty as hell. You know it. We know it. And guys, remember the video last night where I showed you how to copy and spread everything? Make sure you do this one. But anyway, so Fusion GPS now, that these the guy that you see here has come out under pressure and said, okay, I'm going to squeal on Hillary and Obama and Mueller and Comey. But I need a deal. So they made a deal with him, probably give him some time off or he doesn't face jail sentencing time if he squeals. And that's how these rats all are. A little pressure, they squeal. And just to refresh your mind, again, 12 hours ago, Mueller has filed charges in Russian Trump Associates Pro multiple reports. Now, what I've read about it is he, no one is named. And we've got two scenarios, maybe maybe more than that. One is that Mueller has realized that he is about to go down. And he's going to blow Hillary and Obama wide open. Or he's going to, again, throw something against the wall and hope that it sticks. If you are attempting to bring down our president, Mr. Mueller, you're going to bring yourself down because the people are awake. We're going to continue to vote, and we're going to continue to change the things that are here. And unlike past presidencies and past political regimes, this time you're not going to get away with it. You, looking at you, Comey, Hillary, Obama, Bill, Department of Justice, are guilty of treason in the highest level by selling the uranium in the richest vein in the world to Russia that happens to be the same place that you killed the boy Finnegan. All the reports are out now, and you guys are panicking, and we understand that. Too late. 
And guys, they're all panicking. One hour ago, Twitter suspends longtime Trump advisor Roger Stone. We've seen him many times uh, now with Alex Jones on InfoWars. Why? Because they're all complicit. They are all complicit. Guys, if you're using GPS, let me tell you what's going to happen in the next couple of days. You're going to find out that they were complicit with Hillary, Obama, Department of Justice, and CNN. Why do you think CNN has attacked Trump so hard? Because they are involved in the cover-up. You think, I want everyone on Twitter to go there and say something about this. We'll get Roger Stone's Twitter account back up. Not that it's needed. I wouldn't use it with your Twitter account, to put it politely, okay? I would not promote anything these guys do. I use YouTube because it's a platform. But guys, uh, don't put up with this crap. And think about the hypocrisy in this deal. A Twitter spokesperson told Fox News they do not comment on individual accounts. We've heard that before on all the social media um, empires. But the company cited its policy on abusive behavior that states users may not incite or engage in the targeted abuse or harassment of others. What about Maxine Waters threatening to kill the president, impeach him? You put up with all that Twitter, really? Guys, you in Silicon Valley need to realize you're in the same situation that the NFL is and the Hollywood is. Just like George Clooney's new movie that came out today did not make $3 million. It wiped them out. Same thing's going to happen to everyone that is going against the nation. We are the United States. We will not tolerate it. You're not going to be tolerated. On Friday, in a series of tweets, Stone lashed out at some of CNN's personalities, including anchors Jake Tapper and Don Lemon. Guys, those two guys have no clue. The worst thing about it is they're, they've been paid off. It came as the network reported that a federal grand jury had approved the first charges in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russian investigation. Again, let me make this clear. They have been filed. They said their arrest will be made Monday. They didn't say who. But with all the new charges that are coming out, it could go either way. I doubt it. I doubt if it will go to the real criminals. I doubt if it will be focused that way. If it is not, Mueller, you're creating a firestorm that the California firemen could not put out. Guys, look at also yesterday, October 27th, bankrate.com. Hillary Clinton's net worth is $45 million. You think any of that had to do with selling out the number one uranium deposit in the world to Russia? Getting Lavoy Finnegan killed? The Bundys and others in jail? You think this demon from hell gives a damn? She doesn't, but we do. Think about it. She's the one that cried all night when she lost, said, we're going to hang. We're going to hang. And so mainstream media, CNN, the people that are paid off by George Soros and some other people have been trying to take Trump down for the very things they're all complicit in. That's a tight world we're living in, guys, and Europe has been taken over. The UK has been taken over. We will not fall this way. So far, against all odds... We stopped Hillary from getting in office. Against all odds, we fought back, and we're winning. A lot of things have changed, even though mainstream won't talk about it. You know, if when I looked at it, and one of the reasons I'm doing this video, and I, I will exempt Fox News because they've been on top of it from day one. They are on this. If you want to hear the real news, go to Fox News or Breitbart. Many say this is a physical war, and in a way it is true. It is a war against demons. You're looking at one of them. And I want to say this to end this video. And it's been a major mistake of many of the people that really would like to see this regime taken down. Is they blame Hillary and she does deserve the blame. But we need to go back to George Bush Sr. We need to go through the Clintons. We need to go through George Bush Jr. and to Obama. But in this situation, it's not Hillary that needs to be the first one to be put in prison. It's Obama. 
why does the Congress and Senate always find a scapegoat when it's the very president that was sitting in office that's in charge of everything trying to slide out? He's a millionaire too. Where did he get it? Where did they get this money? These illegal deals. And I wonder, did Obama get a kickback from those billions that flew over in the airplane to Iraq? Of course he did. But who was sending the money to Iraq? the head of the Muslim nation, our ex-president, Barack Obama. Guys, take the video that I did last night. It shows you how to share video to your channel. I challenge you to do it. If you don't have a YouTube channel, create one. It's free and spread this message. If you don't, we have no future because we are now within one day, Monday, tomorrow Sunday, Monday, is going to decide the future of this nation. Either you stand up now or you lay down and fall. It's a heads up. Be safe.